Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful tutorial, we'll be trying to see how to predict the authors of a Bible passage with machine learning. So some months ago, we tried to do the same thing by predicting whether a particular passage of the Bible belonged to the Old Testament or the New Testament. But in this session, we'll be trying to do another one, trying to see how to predict which author authored or wrote a particular passage of the Bible, right, with machine learning. So this is just an application of test classification. And then we also can use the same idea to identify authorship and then also identify plagiarism. Now let's see how to work with it. So first of all, we'll be using uh, pandas, of course, these are EDA packages, we'll load our EDA packages, pandas and numpy, then we'll load our machine learning packages that include naive base, which is very useful when you're trying to do test classification, and then also use another classifier called logistic regression, although it's called regression, but it's a classifier, then also use count vectorizer to be able to convert our test into vectors, so that the machine learning algorithm way to understand it so now let's see how to work with it so let's start so i'm going to load our data set pd.read underscore csv then we just load our data set which is kjv right perfect so let's see what this data set has to offer us so df.head then you can see that it's having an id it's having a book the chapter the verse and then the test right so these are going to be the features and then this is going to be the target so we have to map this our books to the different authors so i already have a list of authors here for each and every book so genesis was authored by moses etc was authored by moses so i have a list of them so let's try it and see how to map this our list of authors to the book right so let's see how to do that it's going to be df we have books a book so these are all the books so i have to map it perfectly so i'm just going to create another column it's going to be for authors right let's go to the author then let's move on to the particular book so book dot map then i'll pass in my list so author list this is referring to this particular author list here that we have right so i'll map this particular stuff author list to our books and create a new column perfect now that's finished working so if i go back and i check it here again let's do just head so you see that we have moses moses right very very interesting now it's working so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put our features so the features is going to be let's go to s features it's going to be our test so df.test Right, which is this particular test that we have here and then also have our target which is going to be our y labels it's going to be df then the author because that's what you're trying to predict against perfect so the next thing we need to do is that we need to vectorize it so do vectorization to convert our test into features so be using count vectorizer you can use 10 frequency vectorizer so count vectorizer initialize that one then we're just going to convert our S features into vectors, right? So CV dot fit, then transform. Then we're going to pass in our S features. Perfect. Now we are done. So now let's move on to the next step. So the next thing is that you have to train or split our data set, right? Rather, right? So split data set, data set. So it's going to be our S string, right, and then our S test. Then we're going to use our Y train, then our Y test, right. So all the S together and all the Y together, very very important. Then we're going to use our train test split. Then we're going to pass in our S, then our Y labels. Then we're going to use a test size. A test size of 0 0.33 that is 70 30 you can make it 80 20 any of them as you wish then random the random state of 40 42 right perfect so that's finished doing it perfectly so if i check for the train the ship so now we have some interesting stuff right very interesting now let's see how to build our model so we will build our model so building our model so it's going to be like this. We're using naive base classifier. So let's go to CLF for classifier. Then you just use multinomial. Perfect. So we initialize it. 
then we're going to fit our data set to it so clf dot fit our s train to our y train right take some time to fit it together perfect now that's fitted it together so the next thing we can do is that we can now make our prediction or check the accuracy of it so how do we do that so it's the simplest way that we can just check for the accuracy by two meters so let's get that print accuracy so we can just do it like this accuracy of model so we can just use clf dot Oh, right that's the first method of doing it then just going to pass in our s test and then our y test right we're going to pass it together so perfect so to give it a, give it to us a 0 0.52 which is not that bad at 52 percent accurate so you can also use another method of using the clf dot predict right you can also use that one so that one is going to be our accuracy Call. Then we're going to pass in this our uh, CLF uh, our Y test. Right, and then we're going to pass in our S test. It's another way of also doing it. Right. So this is also going to print, give us the same stuff we had, which is so 52 per 52 percent right so it's not that bad so it's the same thing so that's how to check for that accuracy of the model so it's not that bad now let's work on another model so let's use our logistic regression so there's going to be logit then you just put logistic regression initialize it follow the same perfect pattern of logit dot fit then s train y train you fit it together and then later on you're going to predict right so you can use the same format that we did here so let me copy this one so let's predict this is going to be logit so accuracy of logistic regression model perfect so it has given us 59 which is just at least it's better than 52 right <laughs> okay so that is for logistic regression Perfect, right? So our model was 0.59. So now let's see how to use this model to check and test on different passages of the Bible to see whether it's going to give us correct prediction. So I'll paste in the data set that we have here. So these are the test the test data that we're trying. So we have sample verse 1, verse 2, verse 3. This is Revelation. This is Ezra. This is uh, John, right? That is in John by John. Right, so that is what we're trying to use. The last one is by Paul, right? So we that is we know this. So let's try it and see whether it's going to work perfectly. I'm going to load it now. Let's try it. So to work on our prediction, first of all, we need to vectorize it. Vectorize them, right? So let's see how to do. It. So it's going to be our vect. Then cv dot transform. Then we're going to pass in our particular verse, so verse one. Let's try with verse one first, then two array must convert it to an array. Perfect, right? Just vectorize them perfectly. Now, if I check for the vector, it's going to be only numbers instead of being test. Perfect. So that's what we need. So the machine learning algorithm, we have to understand it. Now let's make our single prediction. So single prediction. So it's going to be very simple. So just going to go with our classifier dot predict our naive is classifier then vect perfect so john the apostle wow so it was able to identify that this particular verse was written by john the apostle right so this is revelation chapter 19 and after these things i heard a great voice of people in heaven saying hallelujah salvation honor and glory power unto the lord our god for true and righteous as judgment this is in revelations right perfect so it's able to predict very well so let's try the same thing with our logistic question so logit dot predict then effect let's see whether it's also going to, also to give us the same correction that means that our model is doing well both cl uh, naive base classifier and then logistic regression is also working perfectly now let's try it with the other ones so we have uh, verse 2 which is by Ezra, very difficult it's part of the Bible, right? So let's go to V2. So CV dot transform, then sample verse two dot two array. So let's try it again. So I'll just copy this one here. 
a naive base classifier for two. Let's see. Voila, it's able to tell us that this, this is by Ezra. Very, very interesting. Let's try it again for the logistic question. So I'll copy this one here, change it to vec2, pre corner, right? It's able to do that. So now everything is working very well. So let's try something from Paul or something very short, right? Like this. That is this Jesus whipped. Something very simple. And let's see whether it's going to give us a good prediction. So I'm just going to go with vec3, then cv.transform sample this three to array now let's make our prediction so we're going to make a single prediction on this this three let's see whether to tell us who wrote it wow join that first time. so it has been able to predict very well even with all the verses that we know right very very interesting so that is nice but let's see whether it is because it's only KJV. Let's try something different. Not KJV, but let's try for the Roman set of 12. Let's use an IV, right? So I'm going to use an IV for the Roman set of 12. And then let's see whether it will be able to work. So this is going to be an IV. Where is an IV? Get here an IV. Okay, yeah. All right. Perfect. So this is an IV. So we're using an IV for this particular stuff. Let's see whether it will be able to identify that this is written by Paul. So go back to our this particular way that we had this one was four right but i'm changing this one to an iv right so let me copy this so we know that it's separate from that one so this is going to be using a different uh, niv right so this is for niv which we all know that is roman chapter right written by Paul so let's see whether we can be able to do it so vec 4 is going to be cv dot cv dot transform then we're going to pass in our sample base 4 to array now let's try it and see so I just predict on a different version of the variable let's see whether it's going to work perfectly for us so let's see so predict on four wow <laughs> although we are using a different bible version it was able to predict that this particular test of the bible was written by paul this is niv not kjv we train the data set on kjv but it's able to predict on niv accurately so let's see how to explain this particular model right so we have learned about interpretation of models so in so we're using eli5 so import eli5 that's what we're trying to use right for now perfect so now let's see how to predict how to interpret this particular model right? explain it variable so we're just going to use eli5 dot show wait remember that eli5 does not work on naive base it works on logistic regression so we'll be using the logistic regression then we can also pass in the features right so let's pass in the features or without even passing the features because the features are not that bad at least to be able to give us let's pass in the class the class is going to be our db rdf dot author dot unique right so this is going to be the class name so moses to right this is going to be our class so copy this one and then let's create our class for our class names it's going to be this right perfect so we can just pass in our weight I can even pass in the remaining aspect of our target so target names is go to our class name perfect let's try it and see perfect so it has been able to predict give us an explanation showing the weight and why to predict someone for Moses someone for Joshua someone for Samuel so let's let me make it brighter so back to the lighting Perfect. So this is why it's going to predict if he sees a particular star, it's going to predict that this is for Moses. So these are the various weights. These are the various features. So these features are the test, right? So just converted them to test. So these are the numbers this using to identify that this particular test, if it's having these particular features, this number, then it's Moses. 
all the way till the end right all the way to peter jude james john paul peter even see that paul we have two right you have one written by paul here <laughs> and the one written by paul look by numbers apollo that's the book of us right so let's see that is one way so let's try and explain it on a particular single test right so how do we do that so you can just use the normal one so let's call it as um, explanation so how do we do that so it's going to be like this so we use so we are already imported numpy so we just converting our stuff so let's go to example yes then we must reshape it very well otherwise you will not be able to see so reshape then our vector so we are using the first one which was we realized that the first vector that we had was by who john the apostle right so we'll be trying to see why it's going to predict john so vector one we're going to reshape that one as a single sample right not as a single feature so that's why we are using this reshape method we're going to reshape it very well now the next thing we need to do is that let's do our prediction so eli 5 dot show prediction then going to pass in our model then our example then our target names then our class names right if you had the features variable we could have also used the same thing perfect so that's given us the prediction right very interesting so if you check the probability 0 0.00 very less but the score here is negative 8 which is not that bad this is negative 14 that is totally far from it this is negative 5 it's possible 10 probability like all of them is less this the probability is a little bit better but if you go to the one that actually wrote this particular verse which is john as you already know you see the difference right the reason it's giving us these things so this is by john john mark john apostle the probability is 0 0.00 then the score is negative 9 right which is better at least it's better than most of them so that is how to use eli 5 to explain the reason it's given us these numbers is that we do not supply the features right we just converted these features into numbers so that is why it is giving us these things but there's also test explainer which can also use from eli 5 right to, be able to enable us to determine the particular test not just the feature the particular test that gave us that prediction so that is the basic idea so thank you for watching this long tutorial so in case you have any question or contribution you can just put it inside the comment section below and let me know whether the audio now has improved so that i'll see how to work on it and please check the links below for some interesting stuff thank you and stay blessed